During this quarantine period, I've finished projects that I've been on and off for a couple months to even a couple years. So I see this as an incredible opportunity, not just to spend time with people that we love, but to really have a new angle uh, to problem solve these project ideas. I was working full-time at Brow Florum as, as a designer and um, I had a lot of places where I could gather inspiration for menswear. One rainy day, I was indoors and Bodhi happened to be on the bed. He was glancing over at me and I thought, you know what, he kind of looks like a person. So I decided to take a few items and layer him in menswear. So Bodhi started giving me all of these crazy amazing angles and I was so excited and that's kind of how Men's Were Dog was born. So I created all these different social accounts for Bodhi and um, two days later our blog was featured on GQ and he was touted as the dog that dresses better than your boyfriend. Hi, Amber. Hi, Gabe. Nice to finally meet you guys. Heard so much about you two. I'm very, very excited to first introduce you to the star. Oh. She's <laughs> doing a 360. Oh, Bodhi and Luke are my, my favorite subjects. And I wanted to sort of challenge you to um, use your creative mind and incorporate your pet or friend's pet to put together an incredible photo shoot during this quarantine time. Well, hey, it's so nice to meet you, Yana. This might be the funnest project that we've had. My dog is Gypsy. I've had her since uh, she was two. She was a rescue. Uh, I fostered dogs and cats for a long time in Minneapolis when I lived there. And then she came through and it was just like love at first sight where I was like, no, I, like I can't give her up to anybody else. I lived in Seoul, South Korea for some time um, working and freelancing. And while I was there, um, a friend of mine worked for a rescue organization um, that sent dogs abroad from Korea. And um, my friends came and visited. They fell in love with the type of dog Jindos. And they ended up adopting a one-year-old Jindo that they named Millie. We geeked out on your work a little bit, Yana, and we're really excited to kind of try to push into new spaces and elevate the work and see what we can get. I'm so excited um, to see what you guys come up with and to see if there's any behind the scenes that we could take a look at later, but absolutely can't wait. And uh, we'll regroup in a few days to check out what happens. <laughs> Hi everyone, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Uh, I just want to say hi again and see how, how the project came out. It was a little more challenging than I thought, but really <laughs> great break from, um, you know, just shooting products and, and humans. So I just, um, we have a very small um, and cozy house, but um, so this is the said bench that we tried. Figured I wanted nice. to try to, Keep it as simple as possible um, so she doesn't get like overstimulated um, and scared. So we, you know, tried to bring the cheese everywhere to get some different setups. It was all about her, like what she felt like doing. Yeah. Gabe, I want to see your sweet setup. So my setup was in my house. I utilize natural light, two chairs. I love it. It's very classical, you know, with yeah. the, the drapes. It reminds me of like uh, like a still life when you go to like the Met Museum or something. Should we look into some final photos? Um, the Jindo breed is really independent um, and she's very quiet, but she's very independent. She knows when she's not listening and she knows when she's listening. Mm. Um, so it was a little bit challenging, but um, I started off with this shirt. Um, it's silk, so she loved it. This photo I love right there, beautiful eyes. I love and then it. my next ones, I went very <gasps> presidential with this. Suit. Oh my God. Can I, I say that is not easy to do? Um, I appreciate that. It was <laughs> on a not dog easy that to do. young, it really isn't. It looks spectacular. Uh, she's kind of ornery sometimes, but it also makes her really lovable. And then just for some variety, we put her little hat on. So the balancing was a little, little difficult, but um, it's like a cross between scared, awkward, annoyed. So that was kind of the gist of what we had. And then I was like, oh, well maybe 
we can make it a little bit more exciting. So I think in post, I might like kind of mess with the, the background colors. Should I share a couple of things? Mm -hmm. Is that a disco ball or something going on in there? Yes, it so is a good. disco ball. Um, so so I, cool. I loved this shirt. I was like, summer, blues, let's do this. So we were photographing the shirt. As you can see, I put a jacket over it because it looks more natural. So here he is. Oh my is, God. <laughs> this is one of those in between shoe moments. <laughs> He's like, ow. Just rage your um, face. Oh my God. There's another one. It looks so um, cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Some of the most creative art projects that I've seen challenge perception and functionality. We see quarantine as an opportunity to explore new projects with certain boundaries, to problem solve and collaborate.